the UV Pack Master add-on is extremely useful for nearly any texturing project, including characters and hard surface objects. Regardless of whether they are hand-painted or mostly procedural, it can significantly reduce the time and effort required to pack UVs, making it an essential tool for any texturing project. It's always better to avoid the use of add-ons on a typical Blender tutorial so that everyone watching can follow along. Sometimes as simple or common as packing hard surface game weapons into map by hand can be extremely painful and time consuming. UV Pack Master Pro has been awesome in various circumstances. Its packing algorithm supports concave shapes instead of just bounding boxes, so it's better than Blender's default by far. It's also pretty fast thanks to multi-threading. One of the standout features of this add-on is the ability to lock overlapping islands together. When creating models, it is often necessary to mirror some UVs to save texture space while leaving other key pieces unmirrored to maintain an asymmetrical appearance. With the option to lock overlapping islands, it is possible to pack both mirrored and unmirrored pieces simultaneously, streamlining the UV pack process. This add-on offers several useful features including the ability to set up a pixel margin size. This is a significant advantage over other packing methods that use the percentage-based margin which can be difficult to convert to an exact pixel size. The only notable drawback is that the packing engine must be installed separately and it is currently only available for Windows users. Sprite Handler is an add-on for Blender that allows you to easily import and animate sprite sheets in a 3D environment. It includes features such as the ability to set up the X and Y grid numbers, adjust the timing of the simulation, and interact with light and shadows. You can also use sprite sheets to randomize a material per object, convert a sprite sheet to mesh object, and render out the animation as a sprite sheet for using other software such as Unity or Unreal. This add-on can be particularly useful for game developers who need to work with both 3D and 2D elements in their projects. Simple Bake is a Blender add-on that aims to improve the process of baking textures. It includes a variety of features to make the process easier such as the ability to bake any PBR map from any material, including complex materials with multiple principled shaders, and the ability to bake normal maps as 32-bit float. This add-on can also automatically export the baked textures and create new materials that use them. While the workflow for baking textures in Blender may not be the most straightforward, Simple Bake aims to simplify the process and provides a range of useful features. I can't end the subject on baking in Blender without shouting out Big Wrangler. Big Wrangler is another add-on for Blender that offers a node-based system for baking textures. It allows users to pack channels, batch multiple types of maps, and automatically match high to low poly objects. This add-on is particularly useful for users who need precise control over their base. Each node-based system provides a high level of flexibility and automation, making it easier and intuitive to use. If you are looking for an add-on to help with your texture baking in Blender, Simple Bake or Big Wrangler is worth considering. Scattershot is an add-on for Blender that allows users to combine procedural and image textures. It implements a technique called texture bombing, which randomizes image textures to prevent them from looking obviously repeating. Scattershot is designed to be a powerful and efficient solution for this task, and it can take any number and types of selected textures, group the controls for them into one node, and plug the results into a principled shader. The add-on can splatter and blend between multiple sets of PB textures, allow transparent textures to overlap, rotate normal maps, use triplanar box mapping for objects without UVs, make non tile textures tallyable, and add extra randomness on top per channel. It is useful for quickly texturing background terrains or scattering PBR decals on a surface. 
Blender is sequentially renovating its texture paint node to level it up to speed with modern standards. But until then, let's stick with B Painter. B Painter allows you to work in layers without worrying about nodes. This is already getting interesting. But B Painter takes things a step further with full blown adjustment layers, procedural layers, and layer masks, all within material channels so you can quickly switch between painting your diffuse, metallic, or roughness, or any type of map. B Painter is flexible and works with any workflow and node system, not just the basic principled shader PBR setup. B Painter offers a lot, but you hear a lot of people asking if this puts Blender on par with Substance Painter or Photoshop. I can't provide you with a concrete 100% yes, but let's just say B Painter paired with Blender can offer up to 70-80% to of what Substance Painter or Photoshop would offer you. With this said, this is one heck of a step in the right direction. B Painter simplifies the painting process by providing easy access to essential tools such as color palettes, brush set settings, textures, and more. It puts frequently used features within reach, while organizing less frequently used settings in a more compact space. This results in a highly intuitive user interface that has everything you need for painting in one place. With BPainter, you can easily combine all your layers and export your models to other applications. Additionally, you have the option to assign different material channels to different RGBA channels, saving game artists especially a lot of time. If you plan on doing any texture painting in Blender, B Painter is a must have too for maximizing efficiency and convenience. This add on has a procedural effect library that provides over 40 helpful effects that can be easily combined and layered using its Node Editor Pi menu, streamlining the process of creating detailed materials from basic ones. The developer plans to add more effects in the future, but currently, the add on includes a variety of surface imperfection, grunge, meta, geometric, fabric liquid and city patterns. This makes it a versatile and convenient tool for a wide range of projects. It's worth noting that using too many procedural textures can slow down EV. Some of the effects that may appear basic actually utilizes several procedural textures under the hood, such as Grunge 05. It's worth considering this when deciding which effect to use in a project. Okay, if you love this video and are interested in more 3D animation tips, courses, and updates, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until my next video, peace out.